Damien's a little shit. It, with the exception of a few different, like, there have only been a few times I have enjoyed Damien as a character. I, I, I actually, enjoy, I actually enjoy him. He, he's, he's fine. I, I think if he is paired with Dick Grayson, it's awesome because, as I said, Dick has been a better father to Damien. The di- the di- than Batman. The dynamic, and it, it the dynamic made, like, it, more fun there for sure. It, well, it's it's not even just that. And, you know, it, it's one of these things that's, like, really, it's bugged me because comicbook.com recently did a freaking article on this. Um, and they're, like, four or five years late to the freaking party. But in the Tim Seeley Nightwing Rebirth run, uh, the arc right after Return to Bloodhaven, uh, Dick Grayson and Damien go off on an adventure to save Dick's girlfriend who is ha- – who, they are having a pregnancy scare while all of this is going on. And so at the end of this storyline, Damien was brought to Bloodhaven because there was a joke. There was like a conversation happening in Titan's tower over who, who would, who is the natural heir to the bat mantle. And everyone was saying Dick Grayson, it's pissing Damien off because it's Damien. And so they are at, at the end of the run you know, they've gone through a whole bunch of stuff and Damien kind of apologizes for, for his entrance into Bloodhaven and how he handled himself. Uh, and they're talking and uh, at this point, they fi- like Dick has found out that, they're, that, that the pregnancy scare is, what, like she's not pregnant and what have you. But at the, uh, so at the end of it, he's talking to Damien and lets Damien know that uh, when Bruce came back from the dead, that da- that Dick Grayson almost filed a petition to be Damien's legal guardian and be his father because he didn't think that Bruce was a good fit. He didn't think that Bruce would do well. And the o- the thing that prevented him was he was just it, it, like you know he he wasn't sure he was mature enough to handle that responsibility. I think that it would be a far more interesting thing for Damien to have left Batman as Robin and gone be and be Nightwing's sidekick. But it, that did kind of happen. Morrison's Batman and Robin run is. I, I yeah, love that. that's, I, that's I, what effectively happened. But like at the end of the day. Damien and Dick Grayson are a more interesting pair to write together than Damien and Bruce. Uh, Tell me I'm wrong. They're the, Damien is effectively that's, a that's, more vicious I, I version think, of Bruce Wayne. I think Wayne. they're very different. I think they're very, I think they're very different. I think... Yeah. I think they, I, they I, haven't had a Batman and Robin book that is sold as well. It, it, it's not about selling... Okay, it, I'm not going to go, but I'm, I'm just going to go based on my experience, which is the Batman and Robin run. Both because the, in that run you had both characters for at least a little bit. I mm-hmm. now Dick. The thing with Dick is see, it, it flips it, ter- it flips Batman and Robin on its head. Usually Robin's the happy go lucky bright one and Batman's the dark and brooding one. Well, in this case it's flipped. The thing I like about Dam- the thing I like about Damien personally is he's almost like he's like Bruce Wayne without the filter. That's that, that. That's the thing I really. I, well, one hundred percent. But like at the end, at, like at the end of the day, having that alongside Bruce is not interesting. It's not a good read. It's, well, it's like I, if I, you I, have both of these guys that think the same process. That that was the other big part of the Batman and Robin dynamic is the dynamic duo, is but, their strengths and weaknesses played off one another and reinforced one another. But, if you have somebody with the same mindset as Bruce Wayne acting as Robin, because even uh, we established Tim Drake, uh, Tim Drake is super intelligent and has Bruce's intellect, but he does have a different thought process. He do- is able to let people in. He is able to do that stuff. I, I think Damian I, Wayne is pretty much like the only person that Damian, the, there are only two people in comics right now. That Damien has let in fully. Dick Grayson, Jonathan Kent. And that's the only other place where I have enjoyed Damien Wayne is okay. Super Sons. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my point. I, 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 think, I, I think I think you, yeah. 
So looking at the okay, the other half of that run. The first half was the, was Dick and and, and uh, Damien, and the other half was Damien and Bruce. I think the interesting thing about that run to me was simply the fact that in Bruce's case, right? In Bruce's case, it's almost the story you tell there is this is this is Bruce taking a good long hard look at himself through his son, right? And there's a really interesting there is an interesting story you tell there which is the fact that you can look at yourself and see who you became and the things you like about yourself and the things you don't like about yourself. And seeing perhaps with with your kid that you can be more. And the reason why I think I didn't, I really enjoyed that. One, you could tell Pete Thomas is a, is a parent. You could tell that he has, he has a family and he wrote that very much from that point of view for that dynamic while it was there. And I thought it actually was okay. I, right. I thought it actually, it, it because well, it, I mean, Peter Tomasi went on to write, you know, the Superman. Yeah, well, Rebirth, no, 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 absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the thing is Thomas gets Damien. Um, Peter Thomas gets, gets Damien very much. And Pat Gleason also drew, drew both, both arcs as well. Anytime you see P, Peter Thomas and, and, and Pat Gleason, ladies and gentlemen, check their stuff out. They are a great team. But the thing about, but the thing about the, like, that's why I thought it wasn't so bad. I enjoyed it because it was, the story, the stories you can tell are different. With, with Dick, you can, you can tell, you can tell a classic Batman Robin story, right? But you invert it, which is really fun. It's a really, yeah. it's, a diff, it's a cool take. With Bruce and Damien, you can tell a very interesting you can tell a very interesting actual father son story, right? Which, right? Because the thing about Bruce and Damien is, yeah, they see each, they see in each other something very alike, right? But they also, they see other things. Damien wants to aspire to be better than his father. Bruce also has the same goal. The conflict there is how they achieve it. And yeah. that's, and that's an interest, and that to me, and that's, their conflict and that again can you tell the same amount of stories with that maybe not no. but at the same but you no, 